and it is more apt to happen to you. See, this is nearly dry. It is more apt to happen to you uh, on fresher paint. Um, now let's go over here and see if I can. This is where I put the clear glaze medium. And I can play in it and play in it. I'm still going to use the slip slap and smooth, but I can play in it and play in it. Why I can play in it is because the matteness of the paint is sealed off and it's not drinking or pulling all the water out of the varnish. Now if I had let, you know, if I would given it a coat of clear glaze medium, oh there I'm getting a little, it's probably because I had uh, the dirty stuff in my brush. There. So you can play longer and I was just going to say if you'd let it set overnight you probably wouldn't get any pull at all. When you are used to the varnish, though you won't get anything, except for those of you that are changing over from, uh, say, a oil varnish, and for years you've been able to play and play and caress your piece And go back over it and go back over it. Now, remember again, that is happening to you because it's pulling the water out of the varnish and you're left with mostly resin and you're buckling the resin up. You're pulling the resin up. Um, so uh, why have a matte paint? Why don't eliminate the problem? In your artwork, if you want matte properties, you have to start with it matte. So we have a lot of artists who like to work with the matteness of the paint. And so if they love that about the paint, uh, that's what you have. Now, this is a little bit dampish. I probably would be wet better to wait uh, about 10 more minutes, but uh, I'm very used to it. Uh, why then even consider this varnish? This varnish that I'm using here, the Josanya varnish, has been outside now since 1983 three or four, has been outside. We're a coastal community here. As the crow flies, we're just a couple miles from the beach. Um, and we get some good storms. Um, and I've got a special little piece we've tested. So uh, 80, say so if it was 83, what would that be? 93, 203. Uh, 25 years, give or take a few months. It's been outside and it is in perfect condition. That, uh, up until that time, the best we'd had with any varnish, including polyurethanes, was about three and a half, four years. This is still in perfect condition. It's been used on bar tops, stairways, hallways, uh, about the same time, still perfect condition. So it's a very, very good varnish. And uh, how long is it going to last? I don't know. All I can tell you, it is still going strong. So indoors or out. Now, there are some uh, things that we should talk about. Uh, different areas of the country, different climate conditions. It's best if you varnish the piece 
in the cool of the morning, but not the cold of the morning. Normal room temperature. Um, away from any direct heat source or uh, air conditioner source. Um, if it is hot and very dry, and you know dryness can be in the winter in some of your very cold states, um, I would thin the paint with water. Now I know on the bottle it says flow medium. Yes, you may thin it with flow medium. I want a little varnish in here. You may thin it with flow medium, uh, but I, if it's very hot, if I'm working in a desert climate, uh, in some of our southern states, I take water, just water right out of the tap, or you could use distilled water if you wanted. And so I have varnish, and I will put a good amount, maybe even up to one to one, of water and varnish and thin it. Just thin it. Let's take a new surface. Slip slap. Smooth with the wood grain. Slip slap. And because of the thinning with water, I have to watch runs on the sides, always. I don't even have any pull or drag. Well, does that lessen the uh, protectiveness of the varnish? I have never, uh, I have never experienced a problem with it. Um, do you have to give more coats? That's a strange, uh, that's a strange situation. I uh, have found that I don't have to give it more coats. If I were going to put it outside and I had used the reduced uh, varnish, I think I would probably do four or five coats at least to get the protection. All right, so this sits and I can repeat coat after coat of varnish as soon as one coat is uh, dry to touch good and dry. If you force it and go a little fast, you may get a little of that clumping. So good and dry, if you're in a hurry, go to the hair dryer. Um, I have to put this lid on this one now because I have the, bar, the water in here. Go to the hair dryer and dry it and uh, then proceed with your coats of varnish. After you have painted a piece, I always varnish within 10-15 uh, minutes. If you're the least bit worried about it, go put the hair dryer to it good and give it a coat of clear glaze medium. Let that dry a good half hour or hair dry it and proceed to your varnishing. So how many coats of varnish? Your first two 